okay, what I've got here are two different sensors in this world of module sensor kit. This is a light sensor and it's recording the amount of light in the room and it's programmed so that the servo turns one way or the other depending on how much light is sensed. The other sensor is a human proximity sensor or an uh, infrared proximity. If I press the B button, it starts the motor turning and this is supposed to be the letter N, meaning there's no human. If I put my fingers over the sensor and press the button again, the code says that it's supposed to turn the other direction. Now, what is going on? This is the our new Yaboom Superbit version 2, which has these Grove connectors right here, which the version 1 does not have. And therefore, we can plug in these modules with the Grove connectors. I've got one called infrared, human infrared sensor, and I've got one called the photo sensor. This is the kit we're using. Here is an explanation of what this sensor does. It's in this description on your boom about the kit. Here's the code. I'll put this code link into the video uh, description and you will see that we have Superbit version 2 extension with these additional extensions included. And then here is the kit that I've got. Here is a kit that's currently available. And notice it comes with this board, which is not the board we're using. That's the point of this whole thing. We can use the Superbit version 2 now instead of this board, which they picture here. The advantage is this has got its own battery, so we do not need to have a USB into the board right here. We don't need that because we've got a battery already installed. So this gives you an example of how they explain the different kits, different modules in the kit. And we can use this with our Lego bricks and blocks now because it all fits together. This board has four pins that attach to the base plate. These modules have the pinholes that match Lego Technics, which in turn matches the boards and bricks. The board uh, that we've got and the various bricks. So there's a lot to be learned about all this, but we're showing how we can use microelectronics coding Lego Technics and Lego bricks and blocks with motors to make our whole scene active. There will be more.